Well, irrigation in, in Nebraska is very important, very critical to this area. And uh, it is a concern and uh, we do need to monitor the amounts that we, we use and, and uh, try and use it the most efficiently. And uh, it is a concern that we try to uh, do everything that we can to make sure that uh, we are using it to its potential, especially this time of year. Looking at uh, going to more of the low pressure system so that uh, the water, we are keeping the water right on to the, to the crop. Uh, looking at the crop water needs, uh, and adjusting your uh, system accordingly to, to avoid any runoff and uh, always watching the you know, rainfall and, and adjusting your systems to, to meet that. Uh, if you do get some rain, you can shut off and when to restart again to, uh, to, to not get behind on the, on the needs. The county agent, Gary Zubek, was telling me about an ET gauge, evaporation transpiration gauge. Can you tell me about that? Something like that? Tell yep. about that. Well, that's something new that uh, the county uh, extension office or the University of Nebraska has actually been working with. And it, it's another way to uh, monitor uh, actual crop uh, water usage and we're this is our first year into it so I'm kind of learning about it as, as we go along too. It's a gauge that uh, that's full of water it's filled to a certain uh, degree of water and uh, it's got some markings on it just uh, for what it's doing is basically kind of it's like a corn plant out there or a plant and it's uh, taken into account for the evaporation and uh, as to what that crop would need and using each day or each week we really don't usually have to start irrigating uh, any irrigation system until usually it's probably close to knee high or waist high. And at that stage, you're usually, you, you could be using a uh, oh, half inch to three quarters of an inch, something like that, in a week. And when you get into the peak period of times, it isn't hard to get, uh, when you're starting to develop the ear, then you're getting up there possibly an inch and a half of uh, uh, water usage per, per week at that point in time and that's when you really need to to have the water on and, and uh, it's hard to apply that much water in a week's time so you need to be you need to be a little bit ahead of that so that you have that much uh, moisture available in the soil and that can be uh, available in the top three feet uh, of that soil because you're at that stage when you're using an inch and a half you do you are possibly pulling uh, your roots are pulling moisture from could be three feet uh, into the soil. You know, I still think you know, if, you know, as we get into cycles, we, we maybe we can get back to some more uh, cycles that have more uh, rainfall in in our area and in, in the Midwest in general. And so we aren't using uh, so critical on irrigating uh, irrigation water. And hopefully that'll fill up some of our dams that we have around and bring us back. We are in a probably a seventh year of a, a pretty good drought. We do know that uh, we're probably going to enter the stage of having meters on the wells to, to actually monitor the amount of water that's probably coming. Out of the 100 pivots that you have, how many are metered now? Oh, they've started metering them uh, probably five or six years ago as a requirement. Any, any new uh, installation, a new well has to have them. I would say we've probably got uh, at least 15 or 20 of them that, that do have um, a meter on. So the majority of what you have, yes, we'll have are going to have to be metered mm -hmm. later. Is that how significant an, an investment is that? Oh, it's uh, they're talking uh, probably a five to six hundred dollar investment on a meter. The uh, the thing I, I think that there's still uh, the, the accuracy of them is a little probably uh, up to be yet determined, but I think the technology will come along that they'll probably change that as we go on.